other thing we did check is how perfect is our uh, is our stuff here. I suppose I can turn that window off now. We've done our uh, our review of uh, mowers, and like I said, if we're going to produce whole crop silage to feed the cows, we are seriously going to need to have a new mower system. Uh, we don't have the tractor for it. Oh, this is... Well... I don't know. We could get ourselves a front mower and a single side rear with the intention of eventually getting a butterfly mower when we've got the horsepower to run one. And that will be fine. don't think there's a single side class mower. So, uh, I don't know. We'll figure something. Oh, we finished mowing, didn't we? I can go and pay for a, a dude to come out and measure my soil while we're doing all of this stuff. So I think that field is now planted. Oh no. <laughs> There's the bit at the other end. I do want to jump out here though. Our night seriously? We have perfect nitrogen on this field. Ooh, I might have picked the wrong crop to put on here. We have exceeded nitrogen requirements in a lot of places. But we can come back when the the crop germinates, assuming those uh, pigeons don't eat all, all of the seeds. Um, but yeah, we can come back once the crop has germinated and uh, just run over it with a sprayer and crop sensors, and that will fix the environmental score as it stands, and I am turning way too tight for this poor little cedar. And done. Okay, turn that off. Wow, 73 litres of seed left after planting the oats. I did get a good coverage, didn't I? Uh, we've just done this field here. Um, I'm not seeing anything wrong there. Uh, this field has already been seeded with something. That looks like wheat. Oh. Okay, uh, I'm going to investigate that field. I might give it a skip because it has been seeded, which is a shame because it's kind of convenient for the farm. And I only discovered how convenient it is because uh, I did a contract in it and it's really easy to drive straight across from here. Uh, we'll wait for the little red sports car. It also has a lot of rocks on it, it needs weeds and it is growing wheat in growth stage one. Shame. Well, I didn't really have the money for it. I might still buy those trees, though. Oops. I could buy those trees and chop them all down and replant them. Okay. We will unload that.
So anyway, yes. What else do we need to do today? We've got the field planted. We're still cutting the grass as per usual. has got like I said 73 litres of uh, seed in we can walk that anywhere we want and go actually I didn't look it's over on the right okay 73 litres of seed I think another 500 we're gonna need them soon enough um, how's this thing doing this thing has 166 of each I did want to get some mineral feed um, suppose we could run down to the store and do that while we're waiting for other things to happen gonna need the forks Forks, I think. Okay. Uh, that's the back thing, that's the thing. That's the kind of forks. go Ooh, crash into the baler why not that's a plan oh and because we're running maze plus we now have different options for mineral feed the annoying thing was I did use this setup for uh, doing the sugar beet contracts. So I had the trailer down at the grain mill, which is right next to the store. And it wasn't until I got back to the farm that I said, oh, I should have picked up some mineral feed while I was down there. But it is what it is. Michigan governor does not like to fund adoption, but she does like to fund abortion. She just vetoed a, a bill to fund adoption. Draw from that what you may. Okay, this trailer needs at least a clean. It's, it has been repaired recently. I think we were down to about 30-40% wear and tear on it. And uh, yeah. Hydraulic seals needed to be replaced. I think Oh, 
now, the nice thing about uh, Maze Plus is Mineral Feed comes in bags and you can order them in lots of eight. So I think I am going to buy two lots of eight. That is a lot. That should last a while. Okay, we need to widen the forks. And yeah, probably should use a uh, bag lifter. But I don't have one. Now the other question is... Probably need to zoom in here. I am completely offline there. How many bags can you pick up with the Series 7 Deutz? Oh, we can actually uh, narrow the forks a bit and then go stab something. Okay, that is suitably stabbed. Uh, that failed to, to stab anything. That got stabbed. So did that one. Okay. Uh, we are not going to lift that many. Okay. Good to know. That's very slightly. Oh. Well, that's tad awkward, I guess. Uh, maybe I should uh, go get myself a bag lifter. Or double. I think what I might be able to do here is we'll put this down. Get a double bag lifter and I'm going to leave it at the store. We are buying so much stuff. Ugh. I started today with £102,000 and we are now down to £63,000. should have the uh, the altitude now the thing we found last week was it is much quicker to drop them in this way than it is to um, Alongside, that does take ages to do. So we will connect a bag, connect another bag. Not the fastest way of doing things, but like I said, definitely faster than using the uh, loader thing button. I do 
do like how these do beam onto the forks rather than having to uh, mess your way to getting them loaded. Now, I do think these are a little bit oops, more expensive than the pallets, but it's easier to load them all. So I'm going to leave this at the store just because we don't use big bags on the farm for the most part we're using um, uh, what are we using on the farm we are using the uh, the things the silos to fill up with uh, seed and all the rest of it So I don't need pallet for, oh, I don't need bag loaders. And then when you unload something, it comes out in a pallet. So again, I don't need a loader. I do like these though. And if the worst comes to worst, we can always get a front loader for the uh, for the yard here, although I'm not sure a front loader is going to uh, do a double bag holder very good, these things. I'm not sure these have the weight to do the double. They might do. 2.3 tons, well that's 5.7 tons, that's got a bit of weight. These things, yeah, I know that's it's 5.2 tons. Uh, I guess the class or the um, the Kubota uh, front loaders may do okay with a double bag. Whoops. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. That button there. That's not really the two I wanted. Uh, hey, whatever works. Okay, this will be a lot more stuff. Should keep the cows happy for a good length of time. Or the other way to look at it should use up our supply of uh, silage and what have you in the feeding robot. Oh, actually, no, it wasn't. We're not sure that it is the straw. Shredder, that's the problem. I think the issue is, is I've shredded straw, straw in the past with it and it worked. And then I tried to sh shred straw last week and it didn't. But it did work when I was shredding straw, sh shredding straw outside of the barn. I don't have a shovel. Still don't have a shovel. I'm not going to have a shovel. Gonna probably need a shovel sometime. However, I think I also want a skid steer at some time, and I don't have one of those either. Okay, I am going to leave this right in front here. So that if we ever get a front loader for the store then we can use it on that and if we don't we can come down here tractor and arms and just grab what we need and some big bags and oops for the most part if i buy stuff from the store i'm going to transport it back to the farm 
in this manner. So we'll load up a grain cart and just haul it. And yes, I'm doing all the things. Alrighty, let's get this thing on a road. Preferably the road to home. Oh, okay. Thank you. And I still want a bigger track. Hopefully now, I mean, we're end of September or middle of September. Um, we're doing the grass silage, which they appear not to have a choice because the tether's not working. Oh, the, at least the tether's not allowing me to... Oh, you know what? I'm such a fool. <laughs> okay. Tethers can be set to what you want to ted into. Oh, that's a pain in the butt. Okay. I will demonstrate that when we get back to the yard and tip this. So like the, um, the, blah, 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 blah. oh, what was it? Um, like the mowers, some mowers have conditioners, some don't. If a mower doesn't have a conditioner, you get fresh grass. If it does have a conditioner <coughs> and you turn it on, you get conditioned grass. Conditioned grass, when you wrap it in bales, turns into whole crop silage. Fresh grass turns into fresh grass, and when you wrap it, it turns into um, fresh grass silage. Semi-dry grass, similar, I think. But there's, the tedder can go, you can set the tedder what you want it to ted into. Um, and you can ted backwards from hay to semi-dry grass if you want to role play and make all your hay wet because it rained last night. So, still don't know what to do about this straw but I might figure it out sometime. I'm going to tip this into here, which will mean the robot can go back to work when it feels like it. Uh, oh, is that different from normal mineral feed? <sighs> Seriously, that's... That could suck lots. I might have made a big giant mistake. Okay, how much have we got in there? 16,000 liters. Yeah. Um, okay, 16,000 liters. Let us. Ah, oh, Phil. Let's select the trailer. Uh, not the Venoms, the trailer. Okay, let's go back to there. Fill unit with. Just fill it to 16,000. That's set. There we go. 16,000. Back. We now have 
Okay, 14,438 litres of normal mineral feed in the back, and that we can empty. So, 14,438, 16,000, 1,562 more. 1,562 more. So set 1,562 more, check, and empty. Okay, so we bought 16,000 litres of mineral feed that doesn't work with the cow feeder, and we swapped it magically for mineral feed that does work with the cow feeder, so the cow feeder now has mineral feed in it. That's fine. Okay. So that's the first thing I wanted to sort out. Um, I'm going to put the pallet forks right there. I'm... Oh, seriously. Come on. Thank you. Uh, drop the pallet forks. We'll keep the arms attached for a moment while we uh, shuffle around the farm. Okay, and he hopefully here is what I was talking about. We'll do a little bit of maze plus with a uh, with a tether. Uh, I was going to clean the trailer. We'll do that. Oh, maybe later. Maybe before we sell the canola in November. Okay, tether. Let's go get the tether. Which is right there. Back that into there. So, if we pull this up, you will see that tether, tether stage is base game. If we do... 